they'll be calling you a radical so this is breaking so and hear me out connect these fucking dots so Westinghouse is going to file bankruptcy so CNBC reports today that Westinghouse is seeking a private loan through the Wall Street community through the banking community so they can pay their payroll while the bankruptcy now this is important now connect these fucking dots this is real important now stay with me. this is where I do all my work the University of Nuclearism that built the reactors at Fukushima, Japan. Now, this is important that we connect all these dots. The country of Kazakhstan, the nuclear weapon testing that went on in Russia for all of those years. Now, this is real important. So, Westinghouse, the nuclear crime syndicate in 2006 7, started this dog and pony show and started going to Toshiba. 144 year old, one of the biggest companies in the world, and it's important that you understand that Japan is the United States 51st state, the Alta by the Sea, the nuclear experimental island. 48 reactors offline for six years, no rolling blackouts because they're not there for nuclear energy. It's an experimental island, just like Kazakhstan. Now stay with me. Let's get out of the wind. So stay with me on this. This is real important. So we know all the nuclear weapon testing that went there in Russia. Like the Nevada test site, let's go to Vegas and get radiated. So, the Westinghouse merger in 2006-07 that was crammed down the throat, international community, the Bush administration, all of them, put this baby together. Toshiba, the nuclear industry, which is Chicago Bridge and Iron. Now this is important, Chicago Bridge and Iron. Chicago Bridge builds the nuclear reactors. Remember, they're going to put on one, this new third generational uh, reactor this the lie so they merge at the same time I mean we get way of all antitrust laws so they merge with Arriva now stay with me Arriva is 85 percent owned by the French government Arriva goes bankrupt every other freaking day they go to the UN but I was in the UN I was in front of the VN when they're asking for those uh, so the mox fuel line remember the mox fuel line they get through the contract on America Clinton David Rockefeller's baby got through at Savannah River. So Savannah River, Arriva, and so the United States, not only is the United States taxpayer giving the French government billions of dollars, the French government backed, Arriva has been stealing it. They've been stealing it. Chicago Bridge has been caught. The Department of Energy came out December 5th, said that them saying they're 70% complete, that report to Congress is a patent lie. They're only 20%. I call it the Tower to Babylon. They'll never use it. They'll never use it, but Lindsay just keeps getting the port. Now, stay with me on this. The merger, now think about this. you got Chicago Bridge, Westinghouse, who are the two nuclear builders. Hillary Clinton is in the Czech Republic. I stood right there in Prague. You need to give them, she uses the word Westinghouse, Westinghouse, the word in 2009, 2010, 2000, she's telling the president of the Czech Republic that she will use Westinghouse. She's threatening him. Now, Westinghouse is not even a company by now. They're Toshiba. Toshiba employs hundreds of thousands. This, this potentially has the implications of millions and millions of jobs. That's what the handshake is about. With the beep, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and taste. You know, hello. So, they're the nuclear builders. They're gonna, remember, they're going to put on a nuclear reactor every week. This one lie after another, the biggest welfare whores in history. So Trump's got the nerve to say welfare queens. Well, the biggest welfare queens is the nuclear energy mass murders. So they merged. Well, guess who? Now think about this. 10% of this company is what? The country of Kazakhstan. That's right. 10% is the country of Kazakhstan. As I call it, sugar wars, molasses wars, textiles wars, cocaine cowboys, plutonium wars. So it gets better. Bill Clinton signs on, remember, when Barry Antoinette let them eat yellow cake, propped up by Exelon. I don't know what hamper it is. The nuclear puppet. He, they, he, Hillary signs on, as Secretary of State says, I will sign on that no conflict of interest. So the great weasel nation, which we call Canada because we don't like nuclear bombs, but yet we supply all the uranium for the nuclear bombs. So they cut the deal. Bill Clinton moves his foundation to Canada. It gets caught that Bill Clinton makes a bribe for $40,000 to the future president of Kazakhstan, goes to Kazakhstan. Why would anybody go to Kazakhstan? So, now, stay with me. So, post-Fukushima, 
Now there's a fabulous documentary, you gotta watch it. It's called Sleepy Hollow of Russia. What it is, there's a sleeping disease over there. The kids just fall down, stagger like they're drunk, like the eagles did right here. This is the same thing that's going on here, which I call Fuktoni. All of a sudden, 60,000 antelope, which is half the population on Earth, they all just drop dead. One day, they're all just dead. Just like the kids stagger, just like the eagles did here, just like the eagles in there. Now stay with me, which I call Fuktonium. You know, you can argue with me all you want. So it's a neurological disorder. So the pathologist from the UN, they go in, they say it is a disorder through the immune system. That's what leukemia is. That's what nuclear does. That's what fallout does. So Westinghouse is going to file bankruptcy. So they went to the Japanese government. Japanese says no, but we forwarded everything to the Trump administration. Now the great punter, Obama, he just punted, 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 punted us. So the MOX fuel, remember, we sent it in 92 to Japan. A lot of it was in Unit 3 when Unit 3 blew to smithereens and 6 and 7. Units were fast breeders. As I reported, they all blew up at one time. And in fact, I reported that 11 reactors blew up. I reported that the day it happened because Diani blew up too. They all blew to smithereens and the rest had just been all a masquerade parties. They're genocide in the Pacific Ocean. Now, I said 2016 will tell the tale. You don't want to believe me. 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 So I said 2016 will be the tell. You think Kerry'd come hold this camera, but he's too elitist. Anyway, so he was actually one of my students in my class when before they blackballed me. Now he's got a position here. Anyway, yeah, Weber State. Clyde Cooley died at my Cal. I got back. This is University of Nuclearism. Back when we were the number one school of business in the country, we don't even rank top 300 because they're just pledging. So back to this. So connect these dots. Kazakhstan. Now, why would the government of Kazakhstan be allowed to merge with Westinghouse, Chicago Bridge, Toshiba? Why Toshiba? So now Toshiba stock has gone from 480 to 120. The CEO comes right out and says the worst acquisition in U.S. in world corporate history, ever. We're out of options. I mean, anybody's even still trading that stock hundreds out of their mind. Same with Chicago Bridge. Same with General Electric. They're all the same freaking corrupt animal. But the Obama administration refused to prosecute. They just kicked it, kicked it to the Trump administration. So Jeff Sessions, <laughs> where does he come from? TVA? I mean, it's so corrupt. But and same. So this falls into the Great Pacific Genocide and Pacific Ocean. The Endangered Species Act should have kicked in. So right now, the spring runs going on. In I mean, they're in total beyond panic mode up there. The, the steelhead came in at 99% collapse this year in parts of the unit. I mean, it's 80%. That's Endangered Species Act. People from nowhere are going to go to prison. People all over the government are going to go to jail because these are laws they violated. They're panicking. There's no salmon that showed up yet. I mean, not, when I say no, I'm not exaggerating. I'm saying literally zero. Woman Eddie has zero. And they've got well over 500 fishing, you know, what they call fishing days. What they track every single group that's fishing. The Columbia had two, two days ago. <laughs> they should have many thousands by now. It's an ecological, you know, when they say, oh, the Pacific Ocean is 30% dead, the tide pools are, no, it's, it's 80, 90% dead. I, I've documented it. It's a catastrophe. So you can't take them down politically, socially. Well, how about economically? Now, Westinghouse Pittsburgh employs how many of these do nothings? The greatest lie in human history is nuclear energy, the welfare queens from hell. So this is a big deal. Westinghouse House is going to file bankruptcy. They're going to do it. They've already got the people in posture, and so they've gone to their last bastion of hope, the Trump administration. So now get this. Now you think about this. I'm an old Wall Streeter. So this is important. I've never seen it in my entire career. So I'm sitting right here waiting for the earnings report. They come out right at the last minute. In Japan, they're ready to report. It says, nope, we're not ready. What? Never heard anything like it. So they scramble in their, you know, their regulatory committees and says, what are you talking? And says, so they gave me an extension till March 14th. They come out on March 14th and say, nope. Nope. What? That's automatic delisting. Which they're going to get delisted. So they, they says, no, we don't, because they're scrambling. They're out of options. They don't know. The stock's going to zero. you got to realize the implications. You cannot, if you're in the stock market, get out, get out, get out. This is going to send freaking shock waves across on twofold. Fukushima, as I said, you keep kicking can, the great fly, the great lie, it's going to catch up this time. You're not going to pull 9-11 off this one. You're not going to tell all these lies that you've been able to, you know, just reboot whatever. You know, 0% this, this thing's it. This is it. This is it. I'm telling you, this is it. 
They're going to file bankruptcy. Toshiba stock's going to zero unless Trump bells them out. Now is it going to? I don't know. There's a lot of pressure, but that handshake is creeping. And then they went into Florida. As Trump flies to Florida every single week. Obama played golf well over a thousand times. The country club, you know, he hadn't a clue. So does Trump. That he flies to his golf course so he can play golf. That's what he does. And then holds a pep rally, everything, and acts like he's doing something. Like we're not on to that moron. And then his budget's all nuclear bombs. We're going to reboot up nuclear, nuclear, nuclear. <laughs> he's going to go along with the cover up. Well, politically. We couldn't get nowhere. They pushed it into the FICA court. You know, they, they pulled every eye, widened himself. I used to talk to them. All of them, they, you know, went at me. They squashed and they attacked me in every way. It cost me my academia career at this university, by the way. It cost me all my money. I was unassured. They could have they could have retroed my insurance at this university and they didn't. That's all right. Fuck them. And so, think about this. Why is the country Kostakistan? Plutonium. The kids are falling asleep. It's the same things happened here with the Eagles. It's happening to people now, too. Nuclear. <laughs> uh, John Holdren, the great eugenicist. Look him up. That's the guy who was inside the situation and that made the Navy. So we're waiting for the ruling. Now you think about the ruling on the USS Reagan. Falls into that. I was in San Diego. I was, you know, I was there when they ruled on August 25th, 2014. Now you think about that. We're still waiting. That's impossible. They appealed the appeal, the appeal. The case was five, four, fast tracked five years ago and it still hasn't made it to one day. Still have not ruled. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible, isn't it? It just shows you the corruption of this industry. It just goes to show you the corruption. So, this is a big deal. Big deal. Westinghouse is going to file bankruptcy. The CNBC has reported it. It's going to happen. They're out of money. They're not going to be able to make payrolls. You know, they're begging with hat in hand. You know, they're going to have to get the government freaking kick in. You know, who's going to loan them money for payrolls when they know it's over? The nuclear freaking crime syndicate, this big lie, the Mox Fuel Savannah River, the tire. So they come out to the Department of Energy and says Chicago Bridge and Arriva have blatantly stole billions of dollars from the American taxpayer. And that doesn't even get really reported. Washington Post did a piece on it. I looked at two comments. You do anything about Trump or Hillaryism, you get hundreds of thousands of comments. The American populace is that ignorant and that gone and that asleep. The greatest event in human history, Fukushima, the great collapse, the nuclear industry, the, the death of the Pacific Ocean. This is going to send shockwaves across. Like you know, People are going to go to jail. This is, going to, and this is something that is going to be so epic and so ugly because in Oregon, you know, it's all about retail fishing. Fish, people still bomb boats and fish when there's no fish. Fishermen can't fish. Zero percent of, uh, you know, 90 percent of zero, zero. Ten percent of zero, zero. You know, 30 percent of zero. You know, you don't have to be a mathematician. All the trees are blooming here a month early. You know, we have such radical weather patterns. Again, Fukushima, Fuktonium. So, I mean, connect these fucking dots. It's a big deal. Stand tuned and I'll post all the links. I'll do all your investigative journalism. See you in New York tomorrow. Head to New York tomorrow for the Fierce Race Fire, which will be on Friday, the 24th. I don't know why they moved from Saturday, but it's Friday at NYU. P-U, P-U, P-U at NYU. It's a chemistry building. Can't make it up. Then I'll be in front of Trump Towers. You know, stop the war pigs. Obama, Trump. Same old theme. Stand tuned. Cancer for all.